The office is 829. I prefer you not to be with him. On him. Don't touch okay. the camera. Then please. Do not touch the camera. I don't even know you, and I'm not. I do not want to be on camera, and that's not fair that you get to take our picture. You're in a public place. Okay. Mr. County Clerk. Yeah. Got some unconstitutional signs hanging up in here. Oh, you can take that up with my lawyer. Sorry. So. You want to take that up with the lawyers? That's the way you want to handle it. I into the public though? Yeah, people can come in and speak with us, it's no problem. Well then there should be no problem with photographs in here. Again, unfortunately we just can't allow people taking photographs in here. Giving yeah, away constitutions and violating the constitutions on the same shelf, guys. <laughs> Look at that. For taking photos in public, huh? I don't know, I have to find my complainant. So. Uh. I just got a call, there was a person here with a camera, which clearly is probably you. Listen y'all, these kids want to act up in school, Want to go to school and embarrass you? Want to make like they ain't got no home training? So I told my son, don't go to school master no more. I take care of you, son. I give you anything you want. I discipline you. But you're going to embarrass me like this? You no, know, so now I'm going to cut his hair. Oh, I got to ask you. Hey. Can you do me a favor? Can you walk, guys? Now I saw you were in a restricted area. Now I want your ID on the You're not getting it. Don't embarrass me. I told him, don't embarrass me. No. Down here today in Oswego County and uh, about to perform a civil rights investigation and First Amendment audit on the county building here is the county clerk's office and I'm not sure exactly all the other offices are in this building but it's September 8th and uh, let's go ahead and get inside. Am I trying to get in the wrong side of the building? You. What can I do for you? Uh, going to the county clerks? Uh, it's this building over here around the corner. Around right the corner? Yep. What is this one? The courthouse? This is Supreme Court. Yeah. Supreme Court, alright. Thanks. Apparently we were at the wrong building. So we got Lake Ontario off there in the background out there. The lake. This town's right on the Lake Ontario. Directory. County clerks, county treasurer. This doesn't really tell you exactly who these people are. There's enough to pick down your signs. Yeah, okay. What can I do for you? Um, actually, I don't need any help. I'm just out here to take some photographs of the office. For what purpose? Uh, I'm just working on a story on the office, on the county. Okay. Let me get the deputy treasurer up there and see you. Oh, 
all the Sweden County, Oswego city maps, with all the businesses on them. Swag over there. How are you doing? Pretty good. Allowed to do that? Yeah. This is a public space, right? Right. right. Yeah. I just don't know. I just guess. Yeah. I mean, like. If you want to know where we get the right to do it, it would be the First Amendment of the United States Constitution. Yeah. Freedom of speech, freedom of religion, and freedom of press. So right. everybody has the right so to free press. I'll just double check. And yeah, you're, you're right. Go you ahead. Have a card right. or anything? Um, I do, but I don't give that out because it's a kind of an investigation at this point. So I don't divulge too much information about it. Um, right. Other than so the, just saying, my, my name is Dan. Dan who? Uh, just Dan. Uh, kind of same thing, huh? Yeah, I don't, I don't give out personal information. Rich's number. I'll have to look it up. Um, the office is 829. I prefer you not to be with him. Don't okay. touch the camera. Then please. Do not touch the camera. Alright. You guys, you guys, um. What's the guy's number now? 296 is the office. 8296. Thank you. I'm not trying to give you a hard time, my friend. I mean, you touched my camera, you're violating my rights. Th that picture behind him, is that somewhere right here in Oswego County? Is Rich there? It's Brian. Thanks. Hey Rich, I got a gentleman down here who has a camera and he's photographing everything in our office. He's He's got me, he's got a, a voice and everything right here. Is he allowed to do that? He's in here just everything that I'm saying. He's uh, uh, filming, and, and he's yeah. Okay, all right. So he can do that. All right, very good. Thank you. You're correct. Your name is Brian, right? Yeah. Is that picture behind him? Is that somewhere that's in this county? Like it's in Sorrel County. Uh, it is. Uh, that's a pretty gorgeous it's site. It's I'd like to go see that. It's in um, last guy. Last guy. Last guy. Yeah. Do you have a business? And you wouldn't know it was there. Oh, you'd have to go hiking for it. It's just, yeah, it's not that far, but uh, but it's 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 off the main stretch, like the roads right here. You would never know it's there. It's this side here and the top side, it's all same salmon river. There that they run. People jump off that. Uh, it looks like a base jumping into the water type of thing, but yeah, agreed. Um, I don't know. Do you have a business card? I can give you. One. Give me a minute. Thank you. You go, Dan. Thank you. All right. Yeah. So, is just so you know, in the future, um, as a public employee, like it is a constitutionally active, protected activity so. to yeah. uh, video record public service in the course of their duty. So, if somebody literally wants to stand here and video record him yeah. work all day, yeah. um, you guys, when you took a public position, you guys actually um, agreed for your voice. Your, you know, even if you tried to stop me from using your picture, you know, I could actually sue this county and your you for uh, civil rights violations. Right. Um, you know, like touching my camera is actually part of the extension of my body. That was actually a, a battery that you caused down here. And I know you apologize and I accept that apology. But just in the future, you know, you can't put your hands yeah, on people well, for sure. Learned. But on uh, my part. Yeah. So. Thank you very much for being yeah. cordial. Right, that. Dad. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. He's yeah. Can I help you, sir? Yeah. Um, no, I don't need any help. Just taking photographs of the office. Yeah. Um. I yeah, it's I can. I, do you want me to send you back to? Oh my God. So there's she three. Ones. Ones. I mean, there's, she's the one that answered that question. Like, there's literally no other option. Um. Oh,
Old flags in there. Some of those flags don't look too old. Can I just get your name real quick? My name? Yeah. Karen. Karen. I just, yeah, we also have a name plate. I didn't see yours up there. Oh, mine's on my desk. Oh, okay. Here. Are you the county clerk? No. Oh. No. Um, I'm the senior index clerk. Terry's here, though. Do you want to talk to Terry? Terry is the clerk? clerk? Yeah, if, if, if she's available or, you know, he he's available, I'll speak to him. I mean, we could have it to where you um, Yeah, i just like to meet you if I had a chance, you know, if you weren't busy. I'm just a I'm just a journalist. I go to county buildings and do stories on different you know government organizations, and I've got to shake a lot of hands oh, to a lot okay. of different uh, okay. county clerks and uh, been to a lot of different county offices. So whenever I get a chance to meet the county clerk themselves, you know. Oh, okay. 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 Head, what, which paper are you with? Or um, I'm actually a private okay. private individual journalist, oh, okay. and uh, I do a, it's more of an investigative journalism. So I can't say too much of where where I am, where I'm from. Uh, maybe on my way out, I. Give you a business card if I if I will, but um, I'll just come down, make sure everything's running smoothly, and uh, okay. just do a you know take pictures of what's available, disseminate that to the public. But uh, anytime I get a chance to meet the clerks or the legislators, I always like to. Oh, okay. Yeah, cause I've been to a lot of county buildings, so I've shook in a lot of hands to a lot of different clerks and a lot of different uh, you know things like. Um, no photographing signs and stuff like that. Uh, we go to address st stuff like that, like records rooms. Um, is the records room in this building? I have a records center, and then I have a that which is like deeds and well, deeds and, and that's here. That's yeah. here, yeah. Yep. 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 That's in this office. Uh, but yeah. If you need copies of deeds and stuff, we do charge for those. Yeah, yeah of course. Yeah, yeah. I know the county laws yeah, on yeah, them. Yeah. But, so, okay. uh, but yeah. no, it's nice to meet you. My name's Dan, and okay. I'll just be around taking some photographs and uh, okay. just so get yeah, a chance to meet you. So thank you. Okay. Yep. And the black rounder. And so, because my mom wanted to see the both. Yeah. Yeah. And so if you want the answer to that the answer is when you guys took public positions you guys gave permission for your photos and stuff to be taken because that's constitutionally protected activity to video record your public servants in the course of their duties but if anybody wanted the information on that like I, you can probably don't work here I'm, I'm assuming not, I'm not, <laughs> if you don't work here I'm you not saying anything to you because I don't even know you and I'm not I do not want to be on camera and that's not fair that you get to take our picture in a public place. Okay. Yeah, we're done here. I think that lady works here.
Um, so they, uh, And then they had another guy moving with three kids. So there's like six kids and five adults. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's a lot. I mean, I know I see both of them. one. Is that 16? You got one for that amount and then one for that amount. I forget that's what it was. Um, let's see, and assigned to Joanne. And, 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 So that one's all set. Yep. All set with these? Yep. All right, sure. thank you very much. You're welcome. Yeah. We definitely got some illegal signs down here. Definitely got some unconstitutional signs here. We're gonna have to ask the clerk if we can get those down. Mr. County Clerk. Yeah. Got some unconstitutional signs hanging up in here. Oh, you can take that up with my lawyer. Sorry. So. You want to take that up with the lawyers? That's the way you want to handle it? I, I just put out the signs that are state CPLR for the copies that that's what it says. We but can does, charge, does, so. Yeah, I understand what it says you can charge. And, and if you read that statute, it actually says that you get charged to do the work. That doesn't mean that people well, can't take photographs. I'm not going to get into that with you, so uh, the county attorney's office is on the fourth floor. All right, well, I'm going to take photographs of as many documents as I want. Is that going to be a problem? County clerk does not want to be held accountable here today. So, Erie County fam, let's pause for a quick second and go ahead and look at this law that Terry just quoted, 8019, the county clerk's general rules. Uh, we'll scroll through it here. You can go ahead and pause it if you want to read the whole thing Let's go ahead and get it down to, to the bottom here so we can see what the fees actually are most of this here is Regulations for different counties also different abilities for you them not to charge courts or state municipalities So Erie County fam if you go ahead and look at number one on this thing, what does it say? to prepare a copy Looking at number two, what does it say? To certify a prepared copy. Looking at number three, what does it say? To prepare and certify a copy. Looking at number four, what does it say? To prepare and certify a copy once again. And Erie County fam, what does number five say? To prepare a copy. So in all five categories where they can charge for copies for certifying, it all comes down to the word to prepare. That is an action. That is what they get paid for. They don't get paid for the records themselves. They are public records. 
also Erie County fam, if you read that whole thing, take note. Nowhere in this law does it say that we are not allowed to take a photo, that we are not allowed to photograph our own documents. They are public records. They belong to the public. So let's be clear. That is the statute. That is the county statute that allows them to charge for doing the work. They seem to misinterpret that law and think that they can prohibit someone from taking photographs in a public place. They are incorrect. And I've taken many signs down and challenged it everywhere. And they will find that I am correct and they are wrong. So I went ahead and, you know, challenged it and made sure they weren't going to say nothing. They did not violate my civil rights by enforcing this no no photograph policy. But the signs are still up, fam. They need to come down. I definitely have the signs up. Oh, yeah, that's right. Just like you Yeah, okay. yeah, so, um... Not willing to take the signs down. You guys have any um, private companies that work here or rent space that do, uh, what do you call it, like process serving or, or deeds? Sure. What's that? I'm not sure. Not sure. I think you'd know if somebody worked here every day at an office. Are you guys county employees or do you work for a private company? Excuse me, ma'am. Um, I was just asking a question if these are county employees or do they work for the private company? They're not going to answer any questions. I'm asking you though. Yep, I'm not answering any either. Whew, rude employees down here. These people work for the public. They got people's, hope this ain't personal, people's personal information, private information out for the public to see. On the counters up here. They got these signs everywhere. Prohibited by what? So that's the, they say it's the attorney, but it's the county clerk's signature on all the forms. U.S. representative. Hey, doing, sir? Pretty good. I'm just uh, actually working on a story on the county building. And I uh, just grabbed some photographs of publicly accessible areas. Mm -hmm. Is this uh, open to the public, this front section of this office here? The area is open to the public, but unfortunately we can't um, allow pictures or photographs in here. So we have sensitive information that we deal with in here. So unfortunately yeah. we can't If it's op open to the public though? Yeah, people can come in and speak with us, it's no problem. Well then there should be no problem with photographs in here. Again, unfortunately we just can't allow people taking photographs in here. No photograph, no video. Well, unfortunately, the United States Constitution says differently, and if this is an elected representative of the United States government, she really doesn't have any choice in the matter unless you would close this office to the public. You know what like I mean? Like I said, sir, the sign's right there. Feel free to take a picture of it or a video of it, because, but you're not allowed to take video or picture in the rest of the office. If you'd like to take it off with somebody, this is the contact information for our district director. Right. Feel free to give him a call, but otherwise, Again, as I said, we can't allow you to take video or picture in the office. What mm -hmm. is not a problem. But yeah, I mean, if the public is allowed in this little section, we can take pictures in here. That's the that's the law. Mm -hmm. The policy doesn't trump the constitution. I understand the concern, but we can't allow people to take video or picture up here. So I'm going to have to ask you to please turn off the cameras. No, I'd like not. to come in and talk. Well, I'll have to well, speak with you. But if it's open to the, if it's open to the public, it doesn't. It's not a choice. The, this policy is null and void by the Constitution. As I said, unfortunately, so. you are going to have to turn off the cameras, or I am going to have to ask you to leave. And you can feel free to call our district director. I'm sure he'll be happy to talk. It's understandable. But our policy stands. So I am going to have to ask you again. Please turn off the camera or video. Is this public information here? Those are called privacy release forms. Could take one? Please.
Nice. Well, unfortunately, your policy doesn't trump the law. The only way you could make this office, that policy is to restrict the public from here. As a matter of fact, you guys got constitutions right here. Mm -hmm. You're welcome to take one of those off. So the First Amendment of the United States Constitution gives everybody freedom of press. If the public's allowed in here, the press is allowed in here. I'm familiar with it. But so, as I said, sir, if you'd like, please contact our district director. How does your policy trump the Constitution? Please contact Are you the, the only one in here, here right now? Please contact the district director. Are you the only one here right now? Nope. Is there a, a my office manager or a congresswoman here? The district director. Yeah, can I speak? Not here. Oh, there's nobody else here, just you right now? The district director is not here right now. Is there anybody else in this office? Yes. yes. Can I speak to him? He's in there, he's on the phone. But, as I said, you are going to have to turn off the cameras in the office. Feel free to contact the district director. Yeah, but your, your policy doesn't trump the law. You know what I'm saying? So Please. I'm not turning off the cameras. Feel free That's to turn off the is. cameras. Feel free to... Contact I can't believe they're right giving away right. constitutions and violating the constitutions on the same shelf, guys. <laughs> Look at that. They give away free constitutions and then violate the constitution right underneath it. That's crazy. I'm going to have to ask you to leave. He is on the phone with a constituent right now. They might be speaking about confidential information, so I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Right. Or take, turn take off the a, camera. Take a few more photos and I'll be on my way. Now, this is, a, this is a representative for the state or for the federal government? For the federal government. Federal government, jeez. It says right there on the door, Congresswoman Town. And Congress is federal government. Yeah. Since you're very familiar with the Constitution. I think that's what the... That's even worse. A state representative. But I'm going to have to ask you to leave, though, if not... I'm just in the publicly accessible area, sir. I'm going to have to ask you to leave if you're not going to turn I off I understand. I hear you. Thanks for asking. You are going to have to leave if you do not turn off the cameras, sir. Yeah, it, 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 yeah, office open to the public, public office, and they're trying to violate the Constitution while giving out constitutions right underneath it. That's insane. Can I get your name? My name's Dan. Dale? Can I get your name, sir? My name's Dan. It is something that he, more than likely, a majority of his... Yeah, policies don't trump the law. As I said... I think I've got just about every picture I need in here. Well, I'm going to have to ask you to leave, sir. Yeah, yeah I, I thank you for asking. I'm going to have to insist that you leave, sir. I'm going to have to insist that you respect the rights in the Constitution. Again, is our policy no camera or video in the office? What if I had a policy that says you got to take off your shoes when you speak to me? Is that enforceable? This is in your office. Is that, yes, it is. It's the people's office. That's what you don't get. This is the people's office. She represents the people. The people here represent the people. This is the people's office. This building belongs to the people. It doesn't belong to anybody but the people. This building belongs to the county. Right, and who owns the county? As I said, sir. The public. I heard you and I acknowledge it. I acknowledge very many times that you've asked me to leave, but um, you guys are literally giving away constitutions and then violating the Constitution underneath it. Doesn't you see how hypocritical that is? I'm going to have to ask you to leave the office. All right, thank you. I'll stop back when, uh, maybe he'll be off the phone in a little bit. Congresswoman, violating the Constitution and giving Constitutions on the same shelf, guys. You can't make this stuff up. Can't make that up. Sure, I'll take a breath. How's it going? All right. The rain too late. Uh, Hi. How you doing? Okay. Well, I'm just down here to grab some photographs of the office and publicly accessible areas and check out what's available for the public for dissemination, okay. uh, independent journalists, but I actually don't need any help, so okay. go ahead and get back to whatever you're doing and don't let me bother you. Absolutely. Thank you. Can I get your name real quick? I'm sorry? Can I get your name? My name's Corey. Corey? My name is Dan. Yeah, nice to meet you. Hi. This is actually, this looks like the old building on the wall. Must have an extension built onto the old building. I think so. Yeah. I mean, it's like 
Um, I actually don't need any help. I'm just to take some pictures of the office. That's why I'm here. I'm working on a story on the building. Um, just taking some pictures of the office. What public information is available? Just in a publicly accessible area yeah. here. I don't plan on. We, we do have private stuff on. Yeah, I'm not trying to yeah. go past behind the counters or nothing. I appreciate it. Anything you have questions on, let me know. Okay. Yeah. Um, county attorney's office is which way? It's that the, is fourth floor. Fourth floor. All right. Thank you. Just here to grab some photographs of the publicly accessible area. Um, well, I would this assume right here is a publicly accessible so space. So it's just right this here. little yep. area. Just uh, what, what information is available, what pamphlets you guys got, and disseminating it to the public. Uh, these are, this is just regularly published things that we provide copies of. These are things put out by the, the tourism office. That's just a storeroom, and there's a private office over there, and that. No public meetings there. What do you What do you do here? Your position here? Uh, Director of Strategic Initiatives. Gotcha. Your name? Right. Dave Turner. Dave. My name is Dan. It's nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Dan. Uh, yeah, I just a couple of photographs of what it looks like the office, what's available, and I'll be on my way. I don't need help. Yeah. So there's a receptionist so, here. Sometimes you know, neat things that <laughs> people like to put in there. No, look, I came here in uh, 2006, and those things were here then. So. Oh, monkey see no evil, hear no yeah. evil, and do no evil. Yeah, I don't know where they came from, but they've been here for a couple decades at like least. Growing some dust, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, just grab a couple so, yeah, photos so. of the office here. Yeah, this is what she looks like. and Public can come it. in, they can speak to Angela, and then she can answer questions. You're Angela? Them. Yep. Yes. Nice to meet you, Angela. Nice I'm Dan. Yep. Bye. And um, then there's no meetings or anything held in here, just private offices. Cool. Like to pro promote transparency in government. That's all. Sure. About that. So, thank you guys. Thank you so much. Is that your office back there? No, no, that's private office for one of the planners, the community development director. Got the little bobblehead back there. Mm -hmm. Cool. All right, thank you guys. Sure. Thank you. Oh, these old doors, man. They don't make them like that no more. No, they don't. It's got to be a seven footer. Haunted history trails, huh? Yeah. Ooh, we might have to take me one of those. I like the sound <laughs> of that. Are yeah, these different ones or are they just different covers? Um, the, yeah, I'm not sure this would be a older, older version. Or? Yeah. Oh, this is all over the state haunted stuff, huh? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I like that. I'm going to take me one of these. Uh, this is March of 2022. That one might be. Down the side of the page? Yeah. Same. Down there at the bottom. So March of 23, so that's this, the newest this one. is this year's and that's last year's. Yeah. Yeah, take me one of these. These are cool. Yeah, it's a statewide trail. Oh, 
Haunted History Trail of New York State. That's sweet. Look at that buck. Yeah. Uh, Does somebody third, who works here got that one? Or? No, third largest one ever shot in New York, uh, but it was in his county. And uh, the guy who shot it uh, said, hey, Raymond? I'm pretty proud of this. You guys want to display it in your office? Uh, I'd be happy to get you a duplicate. So that's not the real Mexico, one. New York, huh? Yeah. I go up to the Andromics a lot, and I was passing through there, and I read Mexico, New York, and mm -hmm. I'd be with somebody, they'd be like, where are we going? <laughs> We're almost in Mexico. <laughs> well, there's Texas, right? right on, uh, is it Texas, New York, too? Yeah, yeah, just not far from Mexico. Okay. Is that in this county, too? Yeah, yeah. Nice. So right here, if you were going in, um, so we're down here, right? Um, and Mexico, the town of Mexico is over here. But if you took this 104, and we're heading, a lot of people go this way actually to the Adirondacks, and then they cut over here to get on 81. So here's Mexico, and then right up here is a little town of, or I don't even know if it's like a hamlet maybe of Texas. Texas, huh? Yeah. Guys, how's it? Texas here in New York. I didn't even know that. I'm gonna start bringing a backpack for some of the cool free stuff. Yeah. Right. A little fishing guy over here. Reminds me, my grandma used to paint those little porcelain things. Yeah. Oh, we got the public candy. Yeah, so it's usually a receptionist here, and if the public comes in and they want tourism information, uh, there's somebody here to help find it for them. Yeah, there's a lot of public information here. Oh, what's this one about scuba diving? Uh, that's just the cover for this year's book, but this is all the, um, like, here's town judges, town supervisors, public health services. Oh, nice. Yeah, let's uh, me one of these, too. That's yeah. nice. How long have you worked for the county? Since 2006. 2006? Almost 20 years, huh? Pretty close. <laughs> all right, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. To call on for the day. So this is the administrator's office. Usually, public usually doesn't do any business in here. It's mostly private offices for uh, legislature and county administration. Well, public information, some public candy. There you go, public candy. It's my favorite. He's got a lot of photographs of the area. Yeah, did you see the ones in the hallway downstairs as you were coming The through? one that I liked was in, I think it was the, maybe the assessor's office, or not the assessor. Uh, Treasure? Treasure's office. Is it looks like a waterfalls and a... Oh yeah, that's San River Falls. Yeah, that looks yeah. neat. I'd like to visit that when I get a chance. It's, pretty, it's a pretty cool place. Probably be dark by the time I'm done working today. Is this a fort? That's Fort Ontario, yeah. Fort Ontario, huh? It's just... Uh, I, live, I live closer to Fort Niagara. Oh, you, ever, okay. you ever been to that one? Yeah, yeah. How you doing? I do. Phil Church. You are? County Administrator. Nice to meet you. Hey, my name is. You want to see that floor for real? Come on in. Oh, you can see it from here? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yep. Ooh, that dive um, mask, huh? Well, we got trees in the way, but the fort sits on that bluff right out there. Uh, there used to be three forts here at the mouth of the river. No kidding. We might have to go visit that on our way out. Yeah, I guess those trees are kind of in the way, huh? Yeah, it's the, um, it's up for federal designation. And to be a, a na landmark? National, yeah. national park. Right now it's a state park. But um, Oswego was like the first uh, port on the Great Lakes during the colonial period. Mm -hmm. So we had, there were three forts here and there were battles fought here, uh, particularly during the War of 1812. They do a lot of reenactments there? Yeah, they do reenactments. Right now, the period of reenactment is the Civil War uh, because that's the Was there a Civil War fought up here? No, no, but it was an active post. Pretty far north. It's the only, 
It's the only uh, fort in the United States that's played some type of role in every conflict in the history of the U.S. No kidding. And it's the only, it's the site of the only... Yeah, right on Lake Ontario, you've got pretty much ocean access from yeah. there. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's, it's also the site of the only um, Holocaust refugee center in the United States. Oh, there is one there. Yeah, it was the only place in, in the U.S. where they brought Holocaust uh, refugees. How long have you been the county administrator? 17 years. 17 years, wow. Yeah. Serving the public. A lot of time in this office. <laughs> yeah, you seem pretty friendly <laughs> inviting me in, but um, mm -hmm. now is your position uh, elected or are you appointed? I'm appointed. Appointed by the yeah. chairman? A hired guy, yeah. Oh, by the legislature. By the legislature. Oh, it's the yeah. legislature here now. Pardon? I, I've been to a lot of county buildings. I, I do uh, journalism on county mm -hmm. buildings in specific, but um, I've been to a lot of different, and there's probably like three or four different types of governments that run counties from yeah, legislators to chairmen to... Yeah, like south of us is Onondaga County is an executive form, so they have an elected executive plus an elected legislature. Here it's an elected legislature, and they uh, hire me... Um, as sort of the day-to-day -day operational officer for the county, uh, but they they st retain full um, th executive authority and decision making. Right. So they meet once a month as a uh, board and act on resolutions brought forward by the by the departments and myself. Cool. Well, it's so Friday past three, and you're still here as a devoted public servant, right there. <laughs> a lot of these Fridays. government employees that like to kick out and. Uh, well, uh, we but we have a dedicated bunch around here. That's so, cool. So. Uh, I was going to go check out the chambers. You want to join me? Yeah, chambers is great. Sure. Get a chance to meet the county administrators. A lot of them. And, yeah, and the I looked like it was open. The door was, was open. open. Yeah, you saw the dive helmet. We're, uh, I'm a diver, and we're working at. You got my dive equipment in the truck. You ready right. to go? You ready to go after work? We'll go see some wrecks. Right. This is the chamber. All you diver. We're, uh, yeah. I seen his dive helmet in the office yeah. there. We're working on with the federal government to establish a national marine sanctuary. We're the only 16th in the nation. That's based on shipwrecks. There's a lot of shipwrecks out here. Yep. You do a lot of diving in uh, Lake Ontario. I don't think I've ever dove in Lake Ontario. Lake Ontario and. St. Lawrence River. I did the St. Lawrence. I got certified in uh, deep water in the St. Lawrence. Oh, yeah? Where? And Nitrox. Who certified you? Um, I'm from western New York. Okay. So out and out there, it was uh, discovery diving. Okay, yeah. I've heard of it. Well, yeah, I'm a little ways away from home. But I made, I'm making my way around to every county. Okay. And uh, checking them out, make sure there's no unconstitutional signs or policies as such which a uh, county clerk's got one down there, I'm trying to talk to him about that. He said the uh, county attorney's the one that put it up, but it's his name and his signature on that policy. But uh, is the county attorney here? Yeah. Uh, or he might yeah, not be here? office is down on that end of the All right, let's get some photos in here. If he's there, I might have to. These are mostly pictures of different county buildings in their different states over the years. That one in the center is a map of our underground railroad sites in the county. Oh wow! This was a abolitionist area. Underground railroad. Particularly with the it's port. Hard to, hard to get it with the could, glares off the lights. They could escape and make their way to Canada. That was the safe land, huh? Yep. The Bill of Rights up here. Is this the state Bill of Rights or is the? This, that's the U.S. U.S. Oh, looks a little crooked. And our clerk of the legislator, county administrator, your seat here. Yes, yeah. The chairman of the legislator, county attorney. Yeah. So what's the month they assemble here to take care of the county? That's an old one. That picture I there? We had 35 legislators. 35 Are you in this picture or no? Pardon? Are you in this picture or no? Yeah. Oh, well, yes. yeah. Wasn't that? Uh, 84. It says 1984 on there. Get y'all a view as we always like to. And the county exec, see a chairman seat in this one. So the chairman seat. So this is what he would see during the county meetings. He would look upon. 
So I can say at this point that uh, a lot of people pretty friendly down here and a lot of people uh, pretty respectful. The county administrator is pretty cool. Invited us into his office and uh, friendly. The only, the only gripe I have about the county so far is that uh, county rule or policy of no photographs in of the documents which is not enforceable and it's not the law if but they have confidential information of people on them yeah because you can't photograph people's social security numbers things like that but if you can people. see it you can take photos of it is how the law works as far as the first amendment freedom of press well, so we have a county if there's confidential information it, put, it shouldn't be out to the public like in the publicly accessible documents but right it wouldn't be in a public yeah they are probably behind the, the, the documents, but uh, it would be, it might be in a private what, what the counties like to do, and what I found they like to do is they like to uh, put no photographing signs of the documents because mm -hmm. the state allows them to charge per making copies. But that law doesn't actually say we can't take photos. It just says that when they do the work, they get paid to do the work. So they like to make unconstitutional policies, and I've been working my way through the states, getting rid of those policies and those signs. Actually, I was just at. Um, Oneida County. I walked out of there with seven of those signs in my back pocket because the new county clerk understood and she took them down. But other than that, everything looks pretty good down here. So the only thing I can say is uh, unconstitutional sign in, in the clerk's office. But we're going to have a good conversation with the county attorney. He says the clerk says that the county attorney is the one who's put the sign there. But I did notice that it is his name and signature on that policy of the clerk. So. But thanks. Oh yeah, I got a few of them. You know what everything means in there? So we got the sailboat, probably for the Ontario uh, Farmen. The fort. The college. The outline is the fort. The All right, I see it. I see great, it. Great uh, boating and recreation here. The fish symbolize where the uh, premier sport fishing area in the northeast. You got Shimon Bay in this area? Uh, Shimon's just north of our. Just border. north. And we have several world records. Massive walleye fishing in Shimon. Yeah. Uh, the nuclear power plant is one of our primary industries. Uh, the graduation hat represents the great education facilities and opportunities here. What colleges you and got the, here? In the plow is our agricultural community. So we got everything in there. We have SUNY Oswego here. It's a state SUNY college Oswego. And a uh, two-year uh, branch of Cuga Community College. All right. Cool. Well, thank you for joining me. Sure. On my tour. and. Uh, Oh, yeah. Get a beautiful view of the room here. Yeah, this was actually the first teaching college in the state. Uh, Oswego? Yeah, where they first started training teachers officially. Uh, began here with uh, Edward Sheldon? Yeah, so it's Sheldon Hall. Right. It's an old, beautiful building on a campus with a dome. So right. They're restoring it right now. This is one of the... Was this ever a courthouse? No, the courthouse is across. It's right behind. It's right behind. Oh, that's right, it's the right court, the court yeah. building. I, that's where I started. I thought it was, yeah. the GPS took me there, so yeah, this is yeah. the county clerks. Yeah, one of the and, unique uh, things about this county is it started as a half shire, which means it had two county seats. So there's two county courthouses, the others are Pulaski, and they used to alternate where the legislature and the board of supervisors were back. Uh, back for internal combustion engines so they could share the long, traveling the long distances. So we keep up the tradition and one month out of the year we move the government to Alaska and meet there. Are the, the county meetings um, broadcasted, like live streamed? Yeah. yeah. Let's see the camera system in here. Maybe that's in the oh, corner. No, he comes in. So and sets it up. <laughs> yeah, sets up in that corner. There. It's not live broadcast yet. We, we film it and uh, distribute it to all the libraries and the cable stations. It's not to be edited in any way, so it's shown from the beginning to end. And it is, isn't it uploaded to the website too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So are all our committees. Cool. Well, thank you guys for the sure. hospitality. Yeah, no problem. So uh, this is where a lot of the committee meetings are held. And this screen right here, you can see uh, there's a camera up on top of that. For broadcast. So all the committee meetings are, are uh, streamed. Yeah, recorded. recorded. This is my assistant's office. 
once in a while. This is Kyle. Hi. How you doing, Kyle? Good. How are you? Pretty good. Once in a while, we'll meet with. Uh, oh, is that an old TV here. or is that a? No, it's no, my little fridge. Little fridge. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It almost looked like maybe a, even a bread maker. I see yeah. bread oh, makers are different. Yeah. Yeah, it does kind of look like that. No, just a little. I thought we were gonna get some fresh <laughs> bread. <laughs> my office here we have some staff meetings in here T typically you know entertain the public in here but, um, and how many how many years did you say you were here 2006 2006 yeah so you were here before or after the administrator said he was here 17 years but he said oh no he's been here longer than that longer a little longer than you uh, were. maybe he was talking about how long he's been the administrator oh he's because been past he started that. He's, he uh, years years ago he started as like a public information officer All right. and then come up through the ranks over the years. Very inviting the guy watching you in your office. We like to see that there's nothing like transparency in government. Is that temperature to temperature those floating things? Yeah. I'm not sure how accurate they are, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> one of my kids came not, to not one quite year. digital. Yeah. <laughs> Entrance to the chamber, uh, staircase, elevator. This is the county attorney's office. This is available to speak to. I don't want to go anywhere. I'm not allowed to go unless you're yeah. invited. Well, in. This is the public space of the county attorney's office right here. Uh, Usually, the rest are private office spaces. I don't. Rich, even here today? Um, he is, but I don't know if he's in a. But you want me to ask? Yeah, if he's not on a call or something. Okay. Public isn't in here very much. Well, it says employees only, so if, I was, if you weren't with me, yeah. I wouldn't even have tried walking in here. My right. He's on the phone right now. So. He's on the phone. Pretty cool old atlas here. Yeah. All the old towns and everything. This is all Oswego. Oswego. Yeah. There's Mexico there. What's the date on this thing? Seventeen seventy-six. Dang. Eighteen seventy-six. My bad. That's cool. Yeah. That's real cool. <laughs> All right. Well, sorry that he wasn't available for you. I can uh, never hard to get his attention myself. So, <laughs> and then next door. I just stopped back to see if the clerk was done doing what he was doing. If he's available to speak I don't for. Know if he's here still. Here he's in a meeting. He'll be a while. He'll be a while. He's not available. Oh, he already spoke his piece, I suppose. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. I was trying to speak to the county attorney, but it looks like he's in a meeting. You what? I was just trying to speak to the county uh, manager, or uh, man manager, the clerk. Okay. He was so, in a meeting. Okay. So you're all set? Yeah. Okay. What's your name? My name is Dan. Dan? Time to go. Nice to meet you. What's your last name, Dan? Uh, I don't give out my last name. You don't? No. Okay. Have a great day. Were you called here because of me? Yeah. Yeah? For taking photos in public, huh? I don't know. I have to find my complainant. So uh, I just got a call. There was a person here with a camera, which clearly is probably you. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. How are we doing? You guys all set? Um, I don't know. Jerry's available. You're looking for me? Yeah. Was <laughs> Listen. Sorry, I'm trying to run an operation. Yeah, no, no, I got it. I just was. 
going to ask you to take those signs down, the ones that say it's prohibited. Well, those have been Because I know that since you said, that, you said that the county attorney, but that's your name and signature on that policy, They're, I want to point out. Those have been up since two of my predecessors before we just reaffirmed what they had. So thanks for bringing it up to my attention. I'll look into it, though. Are you not willing to take them down today? Not without looking into it. I mean, they've been past precedent for, like, two county clerks. So I gotta look into it before I no, take that down. But to just explain it to you. It's pretty simple that you know if the public is allowed there, they have the constitutional right to freedom of the press. So if the public is allowed to open that book up, they well, can, they take can a open photo. the book. Yeah. 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 So if they can take a photo then. Well, and there the are, there are the some statues, but I don't in, have them with me right now. In the now. law, and, uh, I'm very familiar with the law. And the law that you're quoting on there is actually a law that says um, when you do the work, you get the you get paid to do the work. But if somebody else took a photo, there's nothing in that law that well, prevents somebody from taking photos. I definitely appreciate public. your input on it. Um, I will show you my operation out here of what we have in the public space. Other than that, I will look into it further. Okay. Yeah, yeah I mean, Thank I took you. I took lots of photos of the documents there, and nobody really, you know, stopped me. But I just I think it would be bringing the office up to the constitutional standards to take the signs down. Okay. And you're well, not, I will. You're not willing to do that today. I will look into it and uh, make a decision after I've looked into it further. Then. All right. Thank you for bringing that up to my attention. Good. Okay. All right. Well, is everybody good? Thank you. Have a good day. Listen, are you all set over here? Yep. Yeah. Got candy too. Yeah. Did you want a piece of candy? No. Well, here's the deal. I will eat a piece of candy, except for. <laughs> well, listen, I can't take one. Because uh, someday you will see me at Walmart with my wife, and you will tell me I'm not a candy and not a salad. <laughs> <laughs> and it's on camera now. <laughs> and of course it's on camera, right? Um, so I'm going to have to take that back. Thank you. Thank you guys. Thank Have you. Bye-bye. Yeah. Well, let's see what we're talking about here. And uh, one, one last thing, you got a badge number? I do, 6060. 6060. Yep. So you got my name, badge number, you're good? Sergeant, right? Yep. Good to go. Have a great day. Call that the Walk of Honor, upholding the oath. See if he's available yet. He just left. Oh, he just left. Yeah. All right. Does he have a business card? I can get. Thank you. Yeah. All right, guys. He just left. You can hear through this wall that he's speaking to her. He, she's lying to me about him leaving. So she lied about him leaving. He's not left. So you know the guy off the phone or available to speak to? Well, I guess that's sir. If you're going to record in the office, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. I'm not even in the office. I understand. But is he's not available? Be available? Be available, Jason? The gentleman's back. I sir can help. Yeah, I'd just like to ask you a question about this policy. That's yeah. because we do casework has personally identifiable information for people like social security numbers, states of birth. So that's why we have that. I no, I get, I get why you want the policy. But it's, it's almost contradictory because you give out free constitutions. And then you violate the constitution that's signed right underneath the shelf you're giving out free constitutions. Well, so if the, public is a, if the public is allowed to come in this office to speak to you, they're allowed to video record when they come to this office. No, they can't, sir. The only way you can get around that, constitutionally speaking, would be to limit the office to appointment only and not allow the public to come, general public to walk in here. If the general public can go there, they can record there because they have freedom of the press, First Amendment.
Okay, well, we also have to go, uh, we're in compliance with the Privacy Act of 1974. So we, people, we do talk to people about sensitive cases they have with the federal government. So when they come in here, we don't have recording because there could be files out or things on the computer. So but I appreciate your concern. I can let our do you, congressman. Do you have um, something that backs that up other than just this piece of paper that you guys printed up? Like if you have some information, we could send it to you, sir. Like an email address? Yes, if you if you could provide that to us. I don't have a pen on here. Right your name, sir? Uh, Dan. Dan, okay. And what is your email, sir? The email address is auditing Erie County at gmail.com. And you want uh, information on our recording policy? Uh, you have like the policy and then the law that you claim that backs up that it would be illegal or actually prohibited by a law to video record in like a publicly accessible area okay. because. As far as I know, no law can supersede the Constitution. Okay, well, we'll get that information to you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. And your name was? My name is Jason. Jason? Yes, sir. All right. Do you have a business card? Or is that one of the yeah, ones up there? I, I grabbed all those. Thank you. So, Erie County fam, I looked up the Privacy Act of 1974, and I couldn't find anything that prohibits the citizens from using a video camera in a publicly accessible office of a government office federal or state the only thing that i found is that it limits the information that the government is allowed to record or keep due to the beginning of this and the watergate scandal as you can read here if anybody would like to look up the privacy act of 1974 and can say that i am incorrect on this please do leave a comment in the comment section but from my understanding of this this is a limitation to the government and what they can record and keep on file against the citizens of the united states so like i said if you guys want to review the law and leave in the comment section anything that you found on this but i also like to note that jason has not to this date from this date ever emailed me with any information providing otherwise he never got back to me never emailed me to prove that the law that they're quoting backs up their policy in the office and anything that i have seen does not back that up as well Leave a comment and tell me what you guys think in the comments section. Have a good day, sir. Can't give them all a fail. I can't give them all a pass. The building is definitely old. It has some older sections and newer sections attached to it. So you can see like this newer than that's older and down on the end it's way newer. So it's built on both sides. But tell me what you guys think. I will see you in the comment section. Hey, we live in society now where people want to record how they discipline their child. People that might get mad with this video is the people that probably already embarrassed their child. You can't you can't discipline your child in their room. Take something away from them. If they act up, well, I'm like, son, you can't play the game. You understand that it goes against the Constitution? I don't have anything to do with it as far as following the Constitution. We have to figure that out. Dude, you pull the Constitution <laughs> out of your pockets out here. Like that was supposed to prove something. First Amendment, freedom of the press. <laughs> Dan Erie County. Um, this isn't Erie County. Yeah. Sure it is. I'm here is Dan Erie County. Legitimate? Maybe. Official? No.